Alright, gents, I'll explain the rules soon in change rooms. I want you to obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves and good luck. This is a serious fight between two world-class light heavyweights with so much on the line. One of the most exciting divisions in the sport, headed by Arta Bedebiev and Dmitry Bivol. And one of these guys is going to be right at the top of the tree with them very, very shortly. And don't blink because Jerome Pampalone, he takes fighters out early. He'll be looking to do the same here, but Malik Zinad has confidence, a bit of flair, and it looks like a bit of quality about him as well. So Pampalone and Zinad in this light heavyweight eliminator. What are you seeing in the early stages here, Harry? I'm expecting this one to be an absolute bloody cracker. Both boys just feeling each other out. Zinad has impressed everyone with his confidence and his character through the course of the week, but Pampalone with a remarkable 2023 put the entire boxing world on notice. And now on this big stage is keen to do that and more. There he goes. Pampalone throwing with power. He sits down on his shots and he looks to take them out. Just a bit of talking there from Zanad. Punch as well too to Zinad. He gets through with a right hand. A very slick little shot it was. He is talking to Pampalone. And the Libyan fans enjoying some of this early work, but Pampalone won't be concerned. Zanad looking very relaxed, keeping his hands nice and low, but very dangerous with the man like Pampalone right in front of you. Good hand speed we've seen from Zinat too. And there it is again as his fans get right up and about as soon as he throws his shots. Pampalone chased with a left hook. Body shot there from Pampalone. Good shot from Zinad, mainly into the gloves of Pampalone, but plenty on it. He goes again like that. There goes Pampalone. Chasing and throwing. So that's very comfortable at this range. Relying on his reflexes, plenty Zinad as Pampalone nearly got through with that shot. Goes to the body now. Tries to finish over the top. Jabbing to Pampalone. Zinad watches, tries to get that right hand away. And Jerome Pampalone at risk of seeing the second round for the first time in a long, long time. And he will. Pampalone and Zinat, high quality to start. And what a contrast in the corners here. This is Isaac Peach, the Kiwi, in the corner of Pampalone. Take your time, he'll come close to the right hand, he'll come inside. Okay? Do what you're doing. Man, you got your eye in that one for now, Okay? And that's Buddy McGurk in the corner of Malik Sinat. Keep his right hand up, and he's trying to come over top of your jab. So when you come out, keep your knees bent, and go to him, step to him with a hard jab. Okay? Very good, hey. You can do this all night long. You understand? Buddy McGurk. He's been there and done that. A multiple world champion as a boxer. And he's been in the corner for so many big names. He was in one corner of Arturo Gatti, Mickey Ward. To name just one life-changing trilogy. So there's nothing he hasn't seen in the sport. But right now, it is Zinad working a jab. Pamp alone. Trying to find his way through to use his power. The Panther, Jerome Pampalone. He's in there with a tricky 
and rangy opponent in Libya's Malik Zinat. Beautiful reflexes and speed from Zinat as well. And reaches nicely too with that right hand. Body shot, Zinat. Pampalone tries to mix it up and drive to the body with the right hands. Zinat really utilising that reach, isn't he? Yeah, he knows his advantage. And he's making the most of it. But can he keep Pampalone away this whole time? Exchange jabs. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it, Ben, about boxing? One punch can change everything. And this is the sort of fight where you think that that might be exactly what happens. One, two, Zinad, but Pampalone swerved. There he goes, Pampalone. And the Libyan supporters get right behind Zinad. Two he goes, covering up his pantalone. That one just threw to the top of the head. That's a good shot from Zinat. Right hand got straight through onto the side of Jerome Pantalone, who comes back. Left hand from Pantalone. This one is opening up. One, two, Zinat again. Pantalone with a strong jab, but he can't quite find Malik Zinat. Long jab again from Zinad. Would love to see just a touch of upper body movement from Pampalone. Just to throw off that jab. It's a beautiful jab from Zinad. Just tried to sit down on that right hand. Did Pampalone. There he gets through with a left hand as the feet got tangled for a moment. Two again from Zinad, and he'll be happy with his work there, Malik Zinad. And so will Buddy McGirt. Okay, I need, the, I need the red hands to the body. Good right hand it was from Malik Zinad. And that's the counter shot with the left hand from Pampalone. And there is a little bit of blood over that right eye of Pampalone as well. So, plenty going on. As you would expect, world title eliminator. Two exceptional athletes, Ben. All-star lineup in the Zinad corner as well. Former world champion Billy Dib is in there, amongst many others. Pampalone. World-ranked middleweight Andre Mikhailovich is also alongside. And former light heavyweight challenger David Light as well. So plenty of interest and support and excitement around this all-important fight, and it is Zinad boxing nicely at range, but you know that it just lurks there, the power of Pampalone. And he's looking for an opportunity. And Zinad cannot slow down. Leaping Pampalone as blood just trickles from the nose of Zinad. Good shot with the right hand from Zinad. There goes Pampalone, that left hand. Oh, that one just fell short. And then he reaches out with a right hand as well. Jerome Pampalone trying to turn on the power here in round three. You can feel that power from here. Oh, it's electric. Leaping off his feet there with the left hook. Oh, the right hand just misses. Pampalone on a war path here in round three.
Yeah, we'd love to see just a touch more speed in the feet of Pampalone, closing the distance just a little bit quicker. Oh. That's a good shot, but just skidded through the target. The left hook again as Zinad goes over the top. There's a right hand from Pampalone. This one is heating right up. Pampalone and Zinat. This is the fight we all expected. Oh, the left hook from Pampalone as Zinat talks to him, goes one, two. But he knows about it. He knows it's there and he knows it's coming. There's Malik Zinat. And he needs to keep him at bay. He needs that long jab and the straight right hand after it. He's shown quality in the early stages. The charismatic Malik Zinat tries to find the target, punching down on Jerome Pampalone, who moves. Right hand Pampalone. Body shot Zinat. Zinat's feet just slowing up just that ever so slightly. Oh, that one just misses from Pampalone. Break, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it, I said break, So stop. much power there, break, isn't there, from Pampalone. You can oh, just yeah. see it, you can feel it as it whizzes by. He's a very, very strong man. Whether he can maintain that for however long this goes, if it goes to full distance, that's the question. Is that a little cut in his eye? Yeah, there's, there's blood from a few places. Is there a, a cut on the eye, or is that just a... No, that was just some blood. Maybe from underneath. Be relaxed on your Okay, how we feeling? Okay. Zinat, Zinat does have a little bit of a bit of blood coming from his nose as we saw a beautiful hook there. Yeah, take us through these highlights, Harry. He's got a little bit of confidence this round, I think. He needed it. I think the uh, the first few rounds, the movement of Zinad really threw off Pampalone. Yeah, so some Vaseline. If there's a cut, it's a tiny little one there on the eyelid of Pampalone. He had some blood to the other side previously. Box it out, guys. Box it out. Let it go, guys. A little work inside. Kind of good job, our referee Ignatius Missalides with this one as well. Jabbing Pampalone, hands to the body. Sinad jabs as well. Pampalone strong to the body. On two and three from Sinad, who is straightened up by that jab from Pampalone. Closing in. Pampalone just couldn't quite find him. Sinad talks to him. Calls him on and jabs, says, come on. He's worn the shots well so far, Zinat. He punches down on Pampalone, who is moving away. Oh! The windmill. He's leaving nothing in the tank with those shots. Jerome Pampalone, and he digs into the body too, but there's a warning for Zinad about pulling down. There must be some slight damage around that eye because the blood trickles again for Pampalone, but hard to spot the wounds as Zinad goes one and two. There's a shot. Pampalone, Zinad saw it, went with it. He rides the shots nice and well, doesn't he, Zinad? Yeah, he's seeing that left hook. But you do get the feeling that the right hand is coming as well for Pampalone at some point. There's Zinad trying to turn that one around, but it slams into the back of the head. He jabs these from Zinat. And that's a good right hand too. Pampalone came back, he got through with that one. Nice moment for Zinad, but Pampalone struck back. The 
crowd starting to get nice and involved in this one. Gee, it's tense. Isaac Peach, the trainer of Jerome Pampelone, says, now we're talking. He likes what he's seen. See, that talks again and gives a bit of flair for the crowd. One and two. From Malik Zinan, who screams into his section of the crowd. He's pumped up, isn't he, Ben? He is. He's been pumped all week, and we saw some good moments from Pampalone here. We saw some quality as well from Zinad. Who would you rather be out there, Harry Garside? That is a great question, Ben. I, I'm going to say Pampalone. I just think he's got the strength, and he hasn't been rattled so far in this fight. Either is Zinab, but I just think he just looks like a very, very dangerous man, Pampalone. Someone, as you, as you see in the first few rounds, Zinab had that, that distance, had that range, and I think he's lost it a little bit in round three and four. And it's autograph time for Tim Zhu. As he gets ready for the nervous watch that he has each and every time that his brother fights. And he is next to Butcham and Nikita Zhu in his Australian Super Welterweight title defence against Danilo Criati. Right now, we're watching the co-main event. It's the IBF light heavyweight world title eliminator between the New Zealander Jerome Pampalone and Libya's Malik Zinad, who is talking again and throws a good right hand as Pampalone tries to find him with that lightning sort of up jab. One, two, three goes Zinad. Pampalone over the top, there's the right hand. He's in it, Zinad, isn't he? He's enjoying this. He's here to prove that he is world class. Just getting closer and closer to him though is Pampalone. Blood flowing pretty freely from Pampalone's nose. And there's so much power that the Panther possesses. Jabbing Zinat. Jabbing and jabbing well. Another good one there from Malik Zinat. Panther alone looks for him. Punch it out, punch it out. Well done though from Malik Zinat. He hangs on well. He's back out at his range again. And he's been very disciplined, Harry, staying at that range. Yeah, he's done, he's done very well. I'd love to see Pampalone just speed up the feet, just that ever so slightly. Close the distance, just that a little bit quicker. Oh, and that right hand just, just fell short. That's oh. a good one for Malik Zinad. He rocked him. Zinad has rocked the puncher. Right, right. Let it go. Let it go. He's holding on for dear life here, Ben. 30 seconds left in round five. A big, big moment for Malik Zinat. Big right hand got through. Here's another. This is huge for Zinat. Here he goes. This is huge, Ben. He's changing the complexion of the fight. Here in the fifth round is Malik Zinat. He's shown his own power to the puncher. And there's some soul searching to be done in the Kiwi corner of Isaac Peach. Hey, 
So good moments there were for Pampalone. Zinad wore that very, very well. And then that's the good shot for Libya's Malik Zinad. Pampalone unsteady for a moment. And look at Zinad. He's at center ring already. He's up and about. He's ready and waiting. And it's Billy Dib, the Australian former world champion, who says, settle down. Wow, what a performance so far it's been from Malik Zinad. And the biggest moment of the fight came there in round number five. A huge shot that rocked Jerome Pampalone, the noted puncher, onto his heels and left his trainer saying, what's wrong? Well, what's wrong is that Malik Zinad is a very, very good boxer. And he's showing us all that here in Sydney tonight. I love how Zinad hasn't gone for the kill. It's very dangerous when you're doing that with a puncher. Get caught with a shot looking for the kill. Ampelon still presses for. Looks to that body. Reaches out with a jab to his pantalone. Zinad just letting him in a little close here. Pantalone will like that. He seems to have recovered. But he's still in there with a banger, is Zinad, and he needs to be careful. He's boxing beautifully. But the power remains in the gloves of Pantalone. The right hand sailed. So very close. Grateful I'm sitting here, Ben. <laughs> it's brutal stuff. It's tense too. So much on the line in this fight. Reaching out is Pampalone. Right hand two. And he is stalking now Jerome Pampalone. Zinad's eyes are almost hypnotizing. Yeah. They open so wide. Yeah, he's having it's a good intense, look, isn't he? Pampalone stepping up the energy. He's getting in nice and close too to Malik Zinad. Something he struggled to do at times. Zinad talks to him. Counter shot, Zinad. That's a good one. Right hand. A sneaky short right hands over the top of the Pampalone shots. Ooh. There's a right hand though from Pampalone. Zinat wears it well. He rides the punches very well, does Malik Zinat. Really takes the sting off, but doesn't it, Ben? That one over the top from Pampalone. And watch your head when you're in close. Box. He's talking and talking. Is Zinat again playing up for the crowd? As the counter shot comes from Pampalone again, but Zinat again defends well. He's sailing close to the wind though, is Malik Zinat. Got around there from, from Pampalone. I think he needed that one. That's more like it. You need to be. I'm fucking sick of this shit. You need to be better. Okay? You need to be there. When you're heading up, you stay there. The fuck is this? Ooh. The strong man, Pamplone. Beautiful counterhook there. What about the chin on Zinna? That was a huge shot. He hardly reacted. He hasn't looked flustered at all this whole backwards. fight. Okay? Stop running. You're not going to win like that. Okay? But I want you to push him back with it. Okay? Buddy McGirt lays down the law as Danilo Criati. What's he doing there, Harry? I've got no idea. It looks nice, though. He's just getting accustomed to that glove. He's in our main event. Priyati oh, challenging against Nikita Zhu as Pampalone throws again with power. Good shot, that from Zinad. Love to see Zinad go up the middle with an uppercut from his rear hand. 
Malone. Left hook again, but Zinad. You can take him, can't he, Ben? Oh, he seems to quite enjoy it, to be honest. Just standing up to big shots from the powerful Jerome Pampelone. There's a good shot too from Zinat. But he is just leaving the door ajar for Pampelone to get in close where he wants to be to pressure and punch. Jabbing Pampelone. And there's a good shot from Zinad. Right hands. He had success with that earlier. Wild shots from both. Pampelone back on the jab and trying to build from there. Leaping out with that hook, but Zinad saw that one. There's the right hand over the top that misses from Pampelone. The left hook as well. But Zinad defending well. Standing in close. Punch way up, punch way up, boys. Right! Let it go, boys. Let it go. Let it go. Moving it go. nicely. Let's go. Right hand. Sit out again. Hammer line forced to retreat. Still got plenty of time there. And Pampelone right, on right, unsteady right, legs here. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, and a shove there from Zinad with Pampelone trying to find his feet. This is the moment for Malik Zinad, the Libyan, who is trying to do something very special against Pampelone, who's finding himself in a place he's never been. He's in trouble now with 30 seconds left in round seven. He's taking big shots. Zinad. I told you before, fight. Just crowds himself. Can he score the big one? Can he find his moment here? Malik Zinat trying to become the first Libyan world title challenger. Has he let Pampelone off the hook? The Kiwi will get back to his corner. But he's unsteady. For the second time in this fight. It's huge. He's in out there. Do me a favor. Pampelone's corner saying stop the fight. Do me a favor. And this is what transpired in the biggest rounds of Malik Sinad's professional boxing career. Beautiful shot, wasn't it, Ben? Right on the button. Stayed up, Pampelone, but his legs weren't there. Just stay forward, shut the chest back. And he's got just got these 60 seconds Perfect. to recover. And to keep his world title dream alive. Isaac Peach, his trainer, laying down the law. And we're going to have a look with the doctor. This definitely helps Pampelone a little bit. All good? No worries. Time. Okay. Fight. So we continue on. Just a few seconds of reprieve for Pampelone. Who was in a world of trouble in the previous rounds. Malik Zinat. We know now why he was so very confident. Buddy McGirt, his legendary trainer, told me he is a work in progress. Well, if that's the case, he is going to be very, very good. He's shown it all tonight, hasn't he, Zinad, so far? He's boxed beautifully. He's used his length. He's shown a chin. He's even allowed Pampelone to come on inside and fight with him. Pampelone looking for those big single shots. 
touch of desperation in what he's doing though. Good shot, Sinad. Good counter shot, Pampalone. Got a cut there. Just have a little bit of cut from Sinad. Oh, there's blood from the right eye of Pampalone. Is there Where's blood as well stand back, stand from Sinad, or is that? I don't know. Everyone's bleeding now. <laughs> Oh, that's a huge shot from Papalo. Right, right, let it go. Let Big go. right hand. There's a, a certainly a cut now underneath the eye. So it's not in a worrying position for Zinad, but it got opened up big time by that second right hand there from Papalo. But again, Zinad stood up and didn't even worry about it. He hasn't been troubled once from any of the shots. And Pampalone is a massive puncher. Dangerous man. Right, let it go, boys. Let it go. A serious let chin go. on him. Let it go, Durham. Let it go. They're very animated at the moment in the Zinad corner. They want him to go forward and do something big now. They think that he's letting his opportunity slip. So let's see what he can do. The final stages here of the eighth round of this world title eliminator as Pampalone gets his hook away. Jabbing Zinad, right hand two, nice and long, punching beautifully. Zinad, oh. there's the shot from Pampalone, but Zinad stands up and he talks to him. That's freakish stuff. What a granite chin. Tough as nails. Malik Zinad just stood up to the best that Jerome Pampalone has and talked to him, belittled him straight after. Keep the right hand up. Yeah, you hear me? Pull that oh, okay. For me? Okay, listen to me. Stop running. Don't go backwards no more, Malik. Listen to me. We got round eight coming to round nine. Okay, listen to me. Malik, I need you to go to him with your jab. Okay, uh, hold your fist and keep backing him up with the jab. You understand me? Don't take a backward step no more, Malik. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Okay? Hey. Hey. To me. The highlights of another exceptional round in this world title eliminator. I don't know how he stood up to that. Didn't even look flaccid at all. Oh, what a hook. It's a crazy, crazy chin that we are seeing on this man, Malik Zinad. Let's go, guys. Let's go. School out. And he storms out and waits for Jerome Pampalo. It's something you cannot teach, Ben. He's having a good chin. Jerome Pampalone, as he scores with a big right hand, must be wondering what he needs to do. He's hit him with absolutely everything, yet he's the one who's found himself twice on unsteady legs. There's it. Right hand again. This counter shot. Man below. Jabbing and talking to Zinad. Right punching from Pampalone. Hey, watch your heads in close, all right? For that right hand is Pampalone. He's a bloody mess now, is Jerome Pampalone. Sinad just keeps talking to him as he takes a solid jab and doesn't care. Pampalone with a mask of blood. It's a great fight, man. Absolute cracker. It really is. You felt it was going to be. Left oh. oh. hook again, Pampalone. Deep breath, Pampalone. He comes forward again and walks into a few jabs and then flies off his own. Pretty shot, Pampalone. There's one over the top. Zinad. Messi. 
as he takes another long-range jab from Pampolo. Chasing is Jerome Pampolo. Looking for the big shot. Just marching forward. Going through the shots of Zinat. As the Libyans corner say that he needs to go forward. Instead, he's retreating and countering as Pampalone looks for the big one again. Deep breath again from Pampalone as he readies himself for another attack. Battered and bruised, aren't they both, Ben? That one misses from Pampalone, but not by much. And Zinad gets through. Body shot from Pampalone. Zinad now posturing. Mocking Pampalone, who has blood now coursing from multiple cuts around his eyes and through his hairline as well. Lots of work to do in the Kiwi corner. He rides the punches so well, doesn't he, Zinad? And takes them. Could have been better round though, I thought, from Pampalone, that one. Have a look at the punch stats. Zinad working so well to the head. Pampalone with the edge to the body, but overall, Malik Zinad has scored with a lot more shots. And he's the one who's rocked his opponent twice in this fight. It seems implausible that Zinad hasn't been in trouble at any point, considering those sorts of shots. At a point, maybe, we just need to accept he can't be knocked out, this man. But Camp alone won't be accepting that. He's going to keep on trying. There's another counter shot. Zinad stands with the hands down. Let to see the uppercut from Zinad. It's on. Oh, a big shot. Again from Pampeline. Came forward with the left hook. Let him go. Let him go. When I say break to stop. Zinad, he gets on attack. Blood everywhere. For Pampalone. One, two goes Zinad. Oh, there's a good shot. That is a beautiful shot from Pampalone. Did he rock Zinad there temporarily? I definitely think so, Ben. Just a little bit. On the side of the head. Let's see if Pampalone can press forward. He is coated in blood as he takes a big shot. Round 10. It's all on the line here in Sydney. The world title eliminator. First warning for holding. No holding. And a minute left in this round where Pampalone, oh, as he takes a few shots, seemed to have. Some Ooh. success. One and two, though. Malik Zinad. He's digging deep. Look at the face of Pampalone. Zinad's corner really telling him to press on, to pressure a little bit more. Well, if he was hurt, he's recovered nicely. Pampalone gets around and. Throws go, boys. Go. An awkward left hand there. 15 seconds left in round 10 of the world title eliminator. Very good shots. Such 
such a gutsy effort from both of these fighters. Going into the championship rounds. This is a wild fight. A couple of good back-to-back -back rounds, I thought, from Pam Blown. Hey, my boy. Hey, Billy. How are you feeling? Good. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Warriors, the pair of them. Yeah, both boys will be sleeping nice and well tonight. He can't fight on the inside, you can. They've managed that cut nice and well, haven't they, Ben? On top of Pamplone's eye. They really have. It's been a confusing one because blood's gone everywhere, but doesn't seem to be going into the eye. And Sinad, he's got that cut under the eye, but he also has a chin of stainless steel. One, two, three goes Zinad. Pressing the action. Right, thanks, mate. The second last round of this one. The shot from Zinads as they tangled and moved. And the blood now running pretty freely from that cut on Pampalone. Zinad gets to work on the jab. Zinad really getting up and about in round 11. And now the blood seems to be getting into the eye of Pamp. Zinad tries to find him. Pamp alone wears a lot of jabs and tries to throw his left hook. Breathes deeply too. Pamp alone and leaps out. With that shot then comes forward and they hang on for a moment. Let it go, boys. Zinat to the crowd, <laughs> celebrating with a round and a half oh. left. And he's talking to Pampalone's corner. And the root of that is what was a pretty messy situation at the rules meeting where a very, very hefty argument occurred yesterday. So. A bit of animosity and bad blood between these two camps. And Zinad just trying to rub their face in it a little bit. But gee, he'd want to concentrate on the man in front of him here, Malik Zinad, because this one is not over yet. 45 seconds left in round 11 of 12, the world title eliminator. Seems very confident, doesn't he, Ben? You can understand why he is as well, because Pampalone was so strong through the early stages, but Zinad has been there, boxing with him throughout. He's the one who's rocked him a couple of times, and now Zinad very openly talking to the corner of Pampalone, trying to make a point about that disagreement yesterday. He's talked to Pampalone throughout. Comes forward and throws some good shots, but can't do the damage he wants to. Right hand Ooh. there. Oh. Mate, he's got one of the best chins I've ever seen. Can take a shot. Zinad. He's a freak of nature. Hey, listen to me. Hey. I need you to keep this guy on the outside with one twos, but keep backing him up. Score point, please, Billy. It's the last round. Okay, you owe it to yourself. I like, I like, you I like it, I like it. Okay, but listen, keep attacking him now this round. You understand? Keep attacking him. What are we doing? We doing it or not? Andre, 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 Let's make some noise in the Warriors as they come out for round 12. Move up, boys. 
So three more minutes towards the boxing destiny of Malik Zinad and Jerome Pampelone. Zinad with so much to fight for. He's looking to create history in Libya. Jerome Pampelone came in as the favourite, the puncher. He's the panther. But he's the one who's had to find his feet after taking big shots in what has become a bloody battle here at Sydney's historic Horton Pavilion tonight. They want Zinad to box. And the corner of Pantalone want him to bang with something decisive. Well, you think Zinad's up on the scorecard. This has to be nice and smart next two minutes. They tangle and they hang on. Still two minutes left in this fight. Pampelone looks for something enormous as he has throughout, but Zinad has shown incredible resilience and great boxing skills. He's really shown it all. All round performance here from Zinad. Boxing ability, grit, great chin. Side is Pampelone. There goes Zinad, one, two, and three. Good shot from Zinad again. Good stuff from Malik Zinad. Pampelone looking for his shot, but it's Zinad picking him off. And again goes Zinad. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Stand back. Last round, boys. Let's finish. And he looks to the corner again. Malik Zinad. Right, and go. smiles to the Kiwis. Pampelone with a minute to pull it out. Right hand misses. Right hand from Zinat. One and two, Malik Zinat. Oh. And again. Oh, and again from Zinat. Pampelone's legs just aren't fully there. He's trying so hard, is Jerome Pampelone, but he can't find the shot, and would it matter anyway? Because Zinad has shown such fortitude, such strength, and still he talks to that corner. One and two he goes. Pampelone searching, trying to find him. Looking for something big, but Zinad begins the celebrations. Malik Zinad talks to the crowd on what. Jump up, put up your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, could we please have a round of applause for what a war we have just seen? After 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Donovan Kilty scores the competition. 114, 114, draw. Judge Katsuhiko Nakamura scores the competition. 111, 117. And Carl Zappia scores the competition. 111, 117. For your winner by majority points decision. Finding it of the red corner, Malik Zinat!